Hi folks, who's all Rudy here, aka Kenny Thompson? Um, yep, the day we're going to have a look at saturation and colour density. Um, just a couple of ways you can change your saturation or you know help you with your colour grading. Um, what we'll do, we'll just dive into DaVinci Resolve and we'll get straight to it right after this. Right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've just got a clip of me um, just talking away in front of a camera. Um, I've just got a basic node set up. Um, this is my color, trans my color space transform in, which this was recorded on a Sony A7 III, uh, S Gamma 3 Cine, Sony S Log 2, DaVinci White, Gamma, DaVinci White, immediate color space. Um, and the output, obviously, the input will be DaVinci Wide, Gamma DaVinci in the medium. The output will be Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. The settings on the color management page is the timeline color space is DaVinci Wide, Gamma Intermediate, and output is Rec 709. Um, this is just a ratio balance. Such, you know, this is I've just set up a little basic node. The ratio is just you know your contrast and all that stuff, which I've kind of set. Balance is just you know your temperature kind of thing. Drop it down a little bit cooler. And the saturation. Now, I'm not going to do three different versions. I'm just going to do the saturation. Show you each one in each saturation. Just, you know, just delete, reset the node when I'm done kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a, sn a snipple. So, your first way of always of saturation, you know, is the simple ways. It's your saturation box down here. You can just pump it up as you can see. I'm, I'm overdoing it, you know. You can up and down it like so. You just double click on the actual word to reset it, or you can use your color boost if you just want to boost where you've got a bit. But as you can see, it affects the whole image, you know. Color boost affects the whole image, and your, your color saturation, you know, your saturation affects your whole image, right? So that's kind of that reset. I'll just reset that node anyway, just be case. The other one is what they're calling HSV, which is hue saturation. I think it's value the V's for. And again, at that, you just right click, you go to your color space, you select HSV. Then you right click again to the channels. You want to uncheck channel one, because that'll be your hue. You do it again, right click channels, and you uncheck channel three, because that'll be your, your value. So you've just got your saturation channel activated. Now, with this channel saturation activated, you control your saturation via your, your normal color wheels. So you've got your offset here, which brings it down, brings it up. Yeah, I'm just pushing it up and pushing it down. Bit more of a, I think it's a little bit more accurate than just your normal saturation. But the beauty of this is, you know, that's a general, but you can also use your gain as well. So you can kind of bring one up, one down, you know, you can probably bring your bottoms up. But I think the, the, the gain, I think the gain goes towards your mid. So you can bring this, you've got to keep an eye on your skin tone. So you see, I can push that up. I see how that blue is now popping. And if I bring me... Hue the gain down a touch. I'm getting my skin back, but I'm still got that. You can see how that blue's popping. I'm going to show you, like, you know, before you know, the blue does a little bit washed out because it disappeared at the top. But now you can see, you know, the colours are back. It has kind of warmed the whole image up as well. So that's kind of like HSV. You know, you can, like, it's a case of, like, Playing with these two and finding your sweet spot. But another way of doing it in HSV is if you just click on your green channel in here. And if I just reset this node a moment, like that. I think I'll have to get my HSV back on now, won't I? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But there you go, what's easy enough to do? We'll put the HSV back on, go to our channels, disconnect channel one. Undo channel three, so we're back there. So now we can use your green your, for your curve. 
um, this probably gives you a bit more control. I mean, if we go at the highlights, you know, I'm pushing up there, reds, pulling down, you know, you can push up and pull there, you know, just pull it down here. You know, you can, you can push and pull it. You know, obviously I look like a red Indian there, but you know, you can kind of push it up there, and that is where your face is. You can at least pull it to another way. You know, you can, you can push and pull whichever way you want to go. You can add as many of these points as you want, you know. As you can see, you can have a play about it. I mean, I'm, I'm destroying the image there, but you know, you can kind of like see where you're going with it, you know what I mean? You can pull that in there, you can pull that up there, you know, you can, you can play you can play about with it. You can probably get a nice bit of, let me see if I go down there a bit. So yeah, I, I just, you know, you don't have to add a lot, you're just looking at small amounts, like here. Yeah, so I could probably put another one there and just pull that bit down. Just bring that one up. See how the blues and anything that's taking control there. It's really, you know, you can play about with it. So there's like three ways you can kind of do it with you use HSV. The last way of doing it, if I reset the node, is something called DCTLs, which are basically Da Vinci Color Transform Language. So basically, you'll have this here in your effects, you know, if you look in your your effects there, if you haven't got it, just click your effects, up it comes, and you hold up a DCTL, you just drag that on there like so. What you get, you get a list, and it'll show none. And what it'll show when you click on is all the DC, DCTL, so it's a bit of a word to get out, that you've got installed. And there are loads. Um, there are a lot of free ones out there. And um, most of these here that I've got, I think, off. In fact, I think all of them are free. Um, got quite a few. Um, but I've, you know, I've, this one here is um, a guy who does these. These are paid for version, but this is a demo. And it's just to give you a good uh, an idea of what they can do. I mean, this is the color, you know, the density of the color uh, demo this guy's got out. Um, God, his name's gone. He's mono, mono, mono node. I think mono node's his name of his YouTube channel stroke website. So I'm sorry if I bossed your name up, but there you go. That's 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 his channel and his um, website. So check him out. This guy does, you know, the DCTLs are basically just coding and um, DaVinci coding with these guys, you know, the, the color experts and all that and the play about with, you know, it's just more accurate colors and all that kind of stuff. It's like a coding language and all that stuff. And these guys are geniuses and they, they, they make these things up through code. Um, and this one's just his mono density. This is his density one. And this one, he, you, can, you can actually just adjust individual colors. You know, you can bring your reds up. See how my face is changing now with the reds. But it make, what it does, it makes your color, it kind of makes them deeper, but it may, also makes them darker so they pop a bit more. So like, you know, there's the reds. I mean, I haven't got much red in here. And um, what have I got? Greens. I haven't got many greens in. The blue, you might see better on me, me top. Is it blue? You see, you see, you see me, me top now is going nice and dark. It just gives them a bit more oomph. And it, it kind of affects that one colour, you know. I mean, as you can see, there's not a lot of colour. But then you've got a global density where you can just whack it all in and make it all darker. You can add everything. This is just on, on this DCTL he's got. And you've got, <coughs> excuse me, you've got your deepness, which I think just brightens it all. I think you like kind of like go with that and then just balance it out with that, you know what I mean? It gives you a bit of depth. And also you've got the, the global bend, you know, if you turn it right down, you turn it off, you turn it up, you turn it back on. And these DCTLs, I don't like to say the dark colour directly for colour but there are absolutely tons of them I mean I've got one here where you can actually grade you can pretty much <laughs> grade your grade your um <laughs> your, your, your footage or your picture you know there's this one here you've got exposure you know I can play with that pull it up and pull it down I can bring me shadows up or down you know play with that 
I'm just over doing it so you can see. You know, I can bring my shadows up and down. I bring my mids up and down. Bring my highlights up and down. Barely see them because they're not. The lighting's not that great. You've got a contrast slider. You know, these are just more precise ways of doing it. There's your pivot for your contrast as well, so you can set your baseline. You've got a pivot for your shadows. You've got your high pivot. Obviously for your highlights, you can see it's working now because obviously I'm moving the pivot. Again, you've got saturation. You can just add as much saturation, a little saturation. You've got skin saturation. I don't know how well that one works for my skin tone. You can see a bit of the skin tone. It's basically lightning and darkening, I suppose. Skin range. You know, they're very small. Then if you've got foliage and some of the background, does that you know there's, there's absolutely loads of these days. See, there's a color balance one where you've got your low, mids, and highs, low, mid, high, low, mid, high for your colors. So I can go from like cyan to red and be lows. You know, there, cool it down, I can warm it up. If you go bright, go dark, but you can you can play about in there. That's in your lows. Cool it down a bit, mids. Bring it up or cool it down. Your highs as well. Bring it down. These things are just amazing and they're just so accurate. They I say accurate, they just give you lots more control over what you can do. Um, what's that? The HSL. You've got your hues on this one's for your hues. You know, you can put your hues, you can play with them. The reds, you know, there's absolutely tons of stuff you can do with these things. Um, Q versus Luma, you know, you've got your reds, your Lumas. <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool look. That's a, you can probably create some cool looks. I mean, I think there's some that I've got. I mean, that there's a neutral one there again, which is just like you see, like a just so you can just balance stuff out. Like it's a bit like a like a grade in one night and bring your colors up and down and your slopes up and down and all that stuff. It's just more accurate ways of altering your image. And there's there is a lot of ACES stuff because obviously I mean, there's ACES Direct 709. You know, obviously I'm not in ACES, but you kind of see where it's coming from. Um, there's color checker charts, which is here. There's a lot of stuff for them. Um, Ramp to waveform. These things are absolutely fantastic for what I mean. You can get um, what's that one? Median. I've done some of them. I haven't got a clue what they do. Oh, you know what I mean? Is the this one here's another one? It's a saturation one. So you've got your master one there. Your cyan's. See there. Blue, sorry, then your magentas. You know, some of them are basic, some of them are, are more, you know, detailed. Uh, what else we've got here? We've got an S curves, steepness of your curves, you know, there's curves all over. There's just absolutely tons of these things. There's another color balance one. Again, cyan, a red, and yellows. You know, you can create some fantastic looks. There's, I believe there's even, you know, there's one for contrast on its own. You know, you can sort your pivot out where you want to be, what type you want, linear. You know, do a linear contrast with a whole lot there. You know, they're just more precise, more, just give you more control. Um, or if I go further down, I think you can get some um, backgrounds, you know, something like that. People do backgrounds where you can animate them. There's flames, uh, fractal zoom, I mean, zoom into stuff and all that. I think it's a big axis and overlay on your, on your footage. Um, there's another grade one, I believe. Yep, there's another grade. Just your offsets and your shadows and all that stuff. Soft clip, skin saturation. I think that is working a little bit. There's another one for your skin tones. You see it's breaking up that footage there. There are absolutely loads of these things. I mean, like I said, most of these were free, what I found. Um, Phantom Zone, where you just animate that, and you know, it's in your face. 
probably a kind of cool little uh, intro effect or something, you know, you can probably change the ring colour as well to anyone you like. Guys are bring honestly, the guys that make these things up are absolutely genius. There's a load of randoms here, I don't know what these are. I mean, there's a, you know, a shimmer. But as you can see, they're not just for colour, there's all, you know, people use them for special effects as well. Um, there's another one, looks like a fishy. <laughs> so you can have fun with them as well, but these, as far as your colour grading is going, I mean, you know, you've got grey charts as well, like you check your exposure, you know, whether you're seen, or linear grey chart. It's just, just the, the, they're pretty endless, to be honest with you. Um, an exposure tool for your logs. Here, you know, just all simple stuff. But, you know, for you. But this guy here is your mono one. This is the guy we're talking about. He's got like a saturation one there. Again, like I said, you can saturate your reds. Look at my face. Ooh, I'm a red engine there. You can bring up your greens. You know, there's not many greens in there. Your blue, watch me watch me track suit with that. That is just beautiful. You know, that that there is just fantastic. It just pops. So any bold colours, like I say with this one with me, that's just popped. Um your cyan. Yeah, magentas, you know, you just you can just bump each colour up on its own, your yellows. And again you can just do like a a global one, you can add it there and you can like add the depth of it, you know, you can just see how much you want of it. Just bring it in nicely, you know, how deep you want it. And then obviously you can blend full on, full off. So that's DC DCTLs, boys and girls. Um they just add another new dimension to your colour grading. Or, like I say, you can get some that have some fun. So, I think we'll call it a day now for that. Um, I hope this has helped you or you know, has inspired you to go and look for this kind of stuff. But whichever way you do it, there's no wrong way, and there's no right way, which, whichever is easier for you to do it. So, with that being said, boys and girls, I shall bugger off now and I shall see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.